And second off, Valley State, the Cardinals men's and women's basketball teams welcome to Ashland to town this afternoon. We'll start with the ladies. Late in the game, Samantha Zerzo fakes the shot from the elbow, puts the ball on the floor, and takes it strong to the hole for the lay-in. And Ashland lead was down to 11. Ashland would fire back. Taylor Woods finds Andy Daughtry on the break, and she hits a little gimme for two of her six points on the afternoon. Then. Off the inbounds pass, Daniel Carrier lowers her shoulder and bullies her way into the lane for two of her game-high 22 points. But we're going to have a little breakdown in communication here by the Cardinals defense as Susie Wallenhop finds herself all alone under the basket. She scores to extend the Ashland lead to 14. Saginaw Valley State tries to keep it close. It's Zerza again. This, uh, this time she finishes with the left hand. She cuts the lead to 12, but it wasn't enough. Ashland takes care of Saginaw Valley State's women's basketball team this afternoon, 70-56. Maybe the guys would have a little better luck in game two. They came into the day with a 4-2 record on the year. Beginning of the game, Kellen Smith opens up the scoring with a little dribble penetration and the bucket. Smith had eight points on the afternoon. Ashley responds. Brooke Turson gets his shot blocked, but there's Michael Hunley. He grabs the rebound and scores his only bucket of the game, and we're tied. Later in the quarter, Garrett Hall spots up from behind the arc, shoots in rhythm, and he connects for three of his 14 on the night. And then two, positions le two possessions later, this is the definition of balling. Damon Bozeman gets his steal, throws up the perimeter before crashing into the barrier. They said the foul occurred before the shot, so it didn't count. Saginaw Valley State would go on to win the game 72-56.